If you love getting out in the bush and still love all your creature comforts, a dual battery system is exactly what you need. Now a lot of people worry when they hear the phrase dual battery setup, but you don't have to worry. If I can understand it, you guys can too. Now behind me you see we've mocked up a dual battery setup on our FJ chassis. Now what you'd have here is a cranking battery, an auxiliary battery, like a deep cycle. You'd have your isolator and potentially even a DC to DC charger like what we've got behind me here. If your car's got a standard style alternator, or an older car like my 80 for example, then a battery isolator like this Red Arc one here is exactly what you need. In its simplest form, when this senses that it's got charge coming from your alternator, it's gonna link both your main and your auxiliary battery, meaning that they both stay topped up and charged. When you pull up at camp for the night and turn your car off, it's gonna know that the batteries are no longer getting charged and it's gonna sever the connection. Now what does that mean? Well, it means that you can run and charge all your accessories off your auxiliary battery whilst not flattening your main battery so that in the morning when you're ready to go for the day, you can start your car with no dramas. What's cool about a DC to DC charger, like the projector one we have here, is that it's gonna be a little bit smarter than just a standard battery isolator. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, a battery isolator is gonna charge your batteries to around 80%, whereas this unit right here is gonna keep your batteries at 100% charge. So that's gonna be better for longevity of the battery and general battery health. And what else? It's gonna allow you solar input. So in the instance of our FJ40, but we're probably gonna be running solar on the top of the canopy, it means that this little unit here is gonna be able to accept solar charge, and it's actually gonna choose between alternator or solar, depending on what's gonna be most efficient to charge the batteries. What else? In my AD, I'm running two batteries, but a lot of setups, you're running two or even three auxiliary batteries alone. Now, the best thing about a DC to DC charger is that you can run all of those batteries to this and it's gonna charge all of them. Whereas a standard battery isolator, you're limited to a main battery and an auxiliary battery. Now, if you're a hardcore 12 volt fanatic, now I'm talking, you're running hardcore power tools, you're absolutely smashing your batteries, and you're gonna wanna look at upgrading to something like a proper management system, exactly like what we have here in the Red Arc Manager 30. Now this unit here is a seriously intelligent piece of kit. It's just like the DC to DC charger and has all the same functionality that we talked about just before. But what more is that the Manager 30 is gonna allow you to charge your batteries directly from 240 volt. Now what that means is that if you're kicking around the bush and you stumble across a power point or you're at a caravan park, you're gonna be able to hook up to this, you're gonna be able to plug it into this and charge your batteries fully. And that's really valuable if you've got a whole bunch of expensive batteries in your vehicle. And what more, the Manager 30 in particular has got the remote mount LCD screen. Now what that means is that you're going to be able to put this just about anywhere in your car. It's going to let you to see all the battery percentages, what you're running, what your expected battery life is left on the charge that they have. And it's also going to have a whole heap of fail safes and alarm functionality in there as well. So you can really keep an eye on what your expensive batteries are doing. So realistically, why do you want to run a dual battery system in your four wheel drive? Well, there's a couple of reasons. For starters, a winch. If you've got a winch in the front of your four wheel drive, what having a dual battery system allows is that you can link your two batteries, which is going to mean less stress on a singular battery. And you're actually also going to be able to winch even faster. What else? Camping, you need a lot of light. You've got camp lights, lights under your awning, even a head torch. Now, when you're not using them, you wanna charge them so they're ready to go. And what a dual battery system's gonna mean is that you can charge your camp lights, you can charge your head torch overnight without the risk of flattening your main battery. Now, come with me. Most importantly, when you're camping, you need cold beer. Now, how do you achieve cold beer when you're out in the bush? a fridge. If you're running a 12 volt fridge, this is running 24 seven. When the car's on, when the car's off. And that's where a dual battery system is really gonna come into its own. Hopefully now you know a little bit more about dual battery systems and why you might wanna fit one to your four wheel drive. If you wanna learn anything else about dual batteries or battery management, head over to www.sparesbox.com.au you'll be able to see our full range and some helpful buying guides there. Thank you